The first spider to be called a tarantula was actually a type of wolf spider, Lycosa tarantula, which is not a member of the family Theraposidae. It's native to southern Europe and was given the name tarantula centuries ago as a reference to the city of Taranto in southern Italy. A type of dancing epidemic known as tarantism was prevalent in southern Italy between the 15th and 17th centuries, and many people at the time reportedly believed it was caused by a bite from these wolf spiders. While the exact cause of tarantism and other dancing plagues remains unclear, the link to spider bites has long since fallen out of favor. The word tarantula endured, however, and later came to be applied to other large, hairy spiders in the family Theraposidae. The dancing itself, which has been variously described as a symptom or treatment for the spider's bite, helped give rise to the famous Italian dance known as the Tarantella. Tarantulas may seem intimidating, but these hulking spiders are still commonly eaten by an array of animals. Many generalist predators are known to prey on tarantulas, including snakes, lizards, frogs, and birds, as well as mammals such as opossums, mongooses, foxes, and coyotes. Tarantulas are also the primary target of some specialist predators, namely a group of spider-hunting parasitoid wasps known as tarantula hawks. These large wasps sting tarantulas to paralyze them, then lay a single egg on the spider's body. The wasp then seals its victim in a burrow, where its offspring will feed on the still living but paralyzed spider once it hatches. Some tarantulas live together with small frogs. The Colombian lesser black tarantula often lives with an unlikely ally, the small dotted humming frog. They share the same burrow and have either a mutualistic or commensal relationship. The tarantula offers some protection against the frog's natural predators, as well as some leftover food. The frog, on the other hand, protects the tarantula's nest against ants. Tarantulas don't actually make webs. Instead, they use their silk for other purposes. Since most tarantulas live underground, tarantulas usually line their burrows with their silk to make the ground more stable. Additionally, some may line the areas surrounding their burrows with silk to warn them of approaching predators and prey. Tarantula silk is also useful for reproduction. To prepare for mating, a male tarantula makes a sperm web, or a tent-like web that stores his sperm. Females, on the other hand, spin silk around their egg cases to provide an extra layer of protection for the eggs. Tarantulas can produce silk from their feet. This makes them unique, since most spiders can only produce silk from their spinnerets and silk glands. Tarantulas can climb trees and even smooth walls. They owe their amazing grip to the claws at the end of their legs. At the end of each leg, they have two to three retractable claws, somewhat like a cat's claw.
fine bristles surround these claws. The claws and the fine bristles allow them to scale even smooth surfaces such as glass. Although tarantulas can climb vertical walls, falling can be fatal for them. The heavier they are, the harder they fall. Since they have heavier bodies, they fall to the ground with a much harder force than other spiders. If they fall from a great height, they will likely rupture their exoskeletons and die. Tarantulas may have eight eyes, but most tarantulas have poor eyesight. Compared to other species that can perceive images, tarantulas can only detect light, darkness, and movement. Most tarantulas are quiet, but some species will make their presence known through sounds. Such is the case for the Queensland hissing tarantula or the so-called barking spider. Native to Queensland, Australia, these spiders produce whistling, hissing, or barking sounds by rubbing its mouth parts together. The setae in the mouth parts produce vibrations that come in the form of sound. These tarantulas make these sounds to ward off potential threats. With their efficient digestive system, tarantulas can last a very long time without eating. For some tarantula species, adults can survive up to two years as long as they have water available. Generally, younger tarantulas can survive for weeks and months without eating as well. One of the key tarantula facts to know about is that they will not bite if they don't have to. When they feel threatened, tarantulas are more likely to run and hide. While tarantulas can bite and get aggressive, they would rather use their long fangs as a last resort. Tarantulas will often only bite when they feel cornered. They typically display a threat posture as a warning before they bite, where they raise their front legs and bare their fangs. Tarantulas should not be kept in groups or even pairs. Known for their cannibalistic tendencies, tarantulas will normally attempt to eat each other. This behavior has also been observed in tarantula mating, with females often attempting to eat the male. Although the vast majority of tarantulas are territorial and will attempt to eat any other spider that wanders too close to their burrow, some species can get along with their neighbors just fine. These communal tarantula spiders are often arboreal species that naturally live in the same tree as other tarantulas. If they don't have a sufficient food source, however, they may try to eat each other as well. As with all members of the arachnid class, which includes scorpions and ticks, the internal intestines of tarantulas are too narrow to deal with solid food. As such, they use strong digestive chemicals to break down their prey into a soup-like substance, which tarantulas then suck up. Therefore, it can be said that tarantulas dissolve their prey and drink them, rather than actually eating them.